Mid-South Technologies is comprised of two business units, Mid-South Control Line and Mid-South Rental and Completion Services. Mid-South Control Line was started in 1989 by Rick Lohr. He saw a need in the industry to supply customized lamps for the downhole oil and gas industry. That's still at the core of our business today. As the quality demands, the need for providing more complete solutions to our customers has grown. In 2014, we opened our Houston facility. We have a stocking area uh, where we're holding inventory. This inventory provides us the opportunity to respond to our customers' needs quickly. The orbital welding process gives us the flexibility in-house to be able to build coils to our customer specifications. From that process, it goes through a series of non-destructive tests to ensure that the integrity of the weld is there. We'll perform an x-ray of the orbital weld. This allows us to make sure we have full penetration through the entire weld process. Through nitrogen testing, we're able to validate the integrity of the weld. Once the product has passed those tests, it goes through an extrusion process that puts an overlaying of plastic on the bare hydraulic control lines. There's three key areas that our customers are looking for. Quality, deliverability, and cost. gone through this evolution of growing our business and integrating our business, we have added key technical talent to provide our customer solutions in-house. We have a quality first approach at Mid-South Control Line. Our quality lab has the ability to do radiography interpretation, fluid cleanliness readings, we have an FTIR spectroscopy, we have testing equipment to validate the integrity of our TEC lines in support of making sure we're providing a consistent quality product. Pneumatic and Hydraulic and Mid-South Control Line are working jointly to provide the industry with a safe means of removing plastics from hydraulic control lines. This has been a problem in the industry for a lot of years where the industry common practice has been to use an open-handled knife. This tool has no open cutting surfaces. The operator has no chance of cutting themselves. We're able to also preserve the control line itself. The blades do not come into contact with the tubes. It's one tool that allows us to strip a variety of different plastics. These tools have been proven to work in the industry and today are being used in the fields. We're with our customers through the entire process. Working with our customers, working for our customers. At the end of the day, that's who we are.